The purpose of this call, everybody, is to show you kind of what I want to work with the 21 day, or sorry, the 14 day change and challenge me. So in the past, we've ran challenges that were more geared towards uh, just having fun and giving us something to do in quarantine. This one here is a little bit more on the educational side. It's a way that you're going to track stuff, the way that you're going to measure stuff, and then you're going to come back to it and you're going to be able to see results. And really the 14 days is a kickstart to what you should be doing over the next 30 or even 60 days moving forward. Um, and so the challenges in there are all progressive in nature. And so you don't necessarily have to do them in order, but you have to, it, it flows better if you do day one, all in day one and day two, all in day two, but you can obviously go back and do it. Now we're changing up the format for this because it's not based around donation. I know I posted the, that I want it to be a donation, but I don't want it to be like that because I want to basically get the people that are wanting to make some type of change. And the best way to, to make change is through your behaviors and by bringing things to light and educating you. And so we're going to do it off a $25 cash. So you give me $25 cash. And if you complete three challenges from each one of the days, then I'm just going to give you that cash right back. So you're basically making a deposit. It's a price enough that you'll want to take this serious because you're going to be asking me questions and I only want to answer questions to the people that actually want to make change. So if you're just looking for something to kind of like quick fix or whatever, like then this isn't the program for you. This is something that is actually going to help you. It's going to be uncomfortable a little bit at the front and the front end because you're going to have to learn how to start tracking macros. You're also going to have to learn how to like measure stuff, take photos, get on the scale, skinny jeans, all that kind of stuff that really you should be doing anyways, but most of us aren't doing it. And so when we think that our weight is our only measurement tool, then we're always constantly chasing weight and eventually gets to the point where it just becomes sickening. And so I want to create different opportunities for you to realize that there's more, more than one way to track and measure success. And I also want to provide you with the tools to be able to do so. So I'm going to give you an idea of what the program looks like. Welcome, Hugo. Boom. Hugo is new to the uh, Zoom world, I guess. So we'll just let him figure his stuff out and I'm gonna keep moving forward. Hugo, when you've got it all together, feel free to chime in, brother. So I wanna run this by you. And uh, really it's just for me to talk to Hugo to explain it and then we're gonna tweak it if need be. So basically the format looks almost exactly the same. So you get your workout in. What I've done is I've created a resource doc. So in the resource doc, you click here. And these are the things that you're gonna be, some of the things that you're gonna be tracking and also the, uh, also some of the stuff that you need to download. So when we go in here, you're gonna see the 14 day challenge. And then here's what week one is. So it's goal setting, tracking and implementing. Week two is remeasure and make the change. In week one, you're gonna create your own meal plan. So I'm gonna give you a recipe book, but you've gotta go in there and create your own meal plan. The reason why I don't like meal plans, I know everybody wants a new meal plan. In fact, we got 296 people that wanted a new meal plan, but I'll tell you, meal plans are only good short term, right? And I personally cannot follow a meal plan because of the fact that I like to eat different things and I eat what, what, like I go on a flexible dieting. So today, you know, if I was on a meal plan, well, all I had was one protein shake and I had bulletproof coffee. You know what I mean? That's definitely not on the meal plan, but how do I make it work? Well, I make it work within my, within my calories and within my macros. And so what you guys are going to have to do is start creating. And we did this for Monday through Friday, where you're going to be able to create your own meal plan. Okay. And I got the recipe book in there where you can get recipes from there, but you're going to make one that works for you. Okay, so we're gonna go Monday through Friday where you do your breakfast, snack, lunch, and dinner. And then week two, you do the same planning. Here's a hydration level. So there's one day where you actually have to track your hydration. And this is kind of, I've always been bothered by the amount of water. I know in our, in our past game changers that we've, you know, we put down numbers, you gotta drink like 10 liters of water. And honestly, I never really latched onto it because there was really no science behind it. And so, I've always felt that if 
I measured my pee. And so there's one day where you actually have to like measure your pee and then measure it again. And so I'm just going to give you guys this little thing. If like, if you're transparent, then that means that you're overhydrated. And yes, you can overhydrate. Okay. Because then your electrolytes and all that stuff get in balance. Hugo, why don't you unmute yourself and then we can work on this together. Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Okay, good. So Hugo, I'm not sure how you feel about like hydration, but to ask somebody that's 120 pounds to drink eight liters of water a day, I think that's just inefficient. And in fact, you're probably pissing out a lot of nutrients. Uh, I would almost like, I don't say like that's too much effort. Even. Yeah. Like there's so no way. Like, you, you, you nailed it. Past. Yeah. You definitely nailed it there with the transparent, with the electrolytes. If you were to just drink a gallon, like a gallon of water and just straight water and you're pissing out water, then yeah. you're totally right on the electrolyte balancing and that's going to really make you dehydrated and probably worse for wear. Perfect. All right. So as you can see, we got our lemonade. That's where we want to be. Light beer. You're okay, Sean. I know you like the light beer, but if we're <laughs> down into that burnt orange, that steep tea, orange pico tea, then we've got an issue. You're gonna have to start tracking goals. So you're gonna have to dig a little bit deeper, right? Like, like this is a, a permanent weight loss challenge, not like a quick fix thing. So a lot of people, they'll tell you in business and life, you should always have goals. When fitness, you should have goals. And so you have to write down what are the three goals that you want. Then you need to find your why. Why are those three things important to you? And I gave you enough room to dive a little bit deeper than just saying, you know, um, I wanna lose 10 pounds, right? So I could fit in my skinny jeans. Like I wanna know a little bit more depth. We're also gonna get into sleep because if you're not sleeping properly, and I'll, I have a perfect example of a client that doesn't sleep and she walks lots, she works out lots, but doesn't gain any weight. In fact, she looks like she's gaining weight. And I would say that she burns probably four, like 3,500 to 4,000 calories and she's under five foot four. So when you're burning that many calories and you're not losing weight, then there's an issue. And if you're eating clean, then that you've got a big issue. And one of them is the sleep. So here's like a, a resource talk. How do you feel about that, Hugo? Well, so, so sleep is one of the three foundations of your health, dude. It's, it's like nutrition, exercise, and sleep. Yeah. And if you're not sleeping well, you're not getting those eight, eight hours-ish, then you are for sure. Uh, what this lady's doing, this client, it sounds like it's, it's like two steps forward, one step back by not sleeping well. Mm -hmm. So you track yeah. it. And it's not, it's not just – and like what I see by you asking these questions and things like that, which is really good, it's not just telling you to sleep more. Yeah. It's telling you like how we could get you to sleep more. Exactly. That's the, that's the big thing. So you're going to have to download a, a couple apps. One is, one of them is to track your quality of sleep. And the other one is, is an app that I've been using for the past three to six months. And it's a gentle wake up app and it's way better than an alarm. I'll tell you that much. Right. So it gradually lights up. And so these are like the small changes that we want to implement in your life so that you're learning a bunch of hacks that are lifestyle hacks that are going to help you to feel better. And then you're going to be able to train harder because you're recovering faster. And then you're ultimately going to look better, right? Cause sore does equal sexy. So as you can see, here's what I got Hugo. So, I mean, this is still kind of like in beta, but if there's yep. anything that you think that we can like tweak, tweak here. So we obviously we're going to do the workouts. We got the resource site. I got a, a recipe book here that, um, that we put together from our six week challenge that we've taken all the best from the past. And we're just gonna give that to them so that they can go ahead and create that meal plan. We want them to share and track three fitness goals in the group, or they can just write them down and keep them to the self. I always like to put my goals out in public or at least share it with somebody because then you feel like you're accountable to that person. So that's why I, I like- I love, I love the, uh, the poster and around jumping jacks. And do you know what I like about that what? is, um, it's a, it's one of the, it's easy. It's how you, it's so easy to track your progress. Yeah. Yeah. You, you do a number, you do it again in a week or two. Did you get any better? Great. There you go. So yeah, exactly. We're, we're, we're pl planting a seed. AMRAP means how many reps you can do. So you got to set a timer and then you're going to do as many reps as possible in one minute. So then you would track that your jumping jacks, right? You can even put that number down here. I suggest for everybody to do measurements, scale or body analysis. You don't have to share it. You can put it here. And again, I like the scale. I don't, I probably haven't jumped on the scale since probably the beginning of quarantine, but I go by how I look. I don't even take photos. I go by how, how I look, but for everybody else, I want you to find all the different measuring tools out there 
do it once and then find the one that you get feel the best about that tracks your success right and then uh post the skinny jeans pick so find those pair of pants right because it's another measuring tool right and then i'm actually going to put uh to create your first meal your first plan so that'll actually happen before day one. Oh, that's a great idea too because now we're really teaching them how to do it yeah so you, you saw that awesome. doc did you see that doc yeah, i did, I did see that doc and what i thought that was five days yeah yeah i thought that was so cool i mean like that's genius to me i mean i don't think uh, like one of the it's, it's one thing to tell you what to do and it's another thing to teach you what to do yeah exactly and that's what we want to do we want to teach it and then and then we want our clients or we want the fit fam to implement it so we're going to track the hydration using the doc take a full body selfie and again the you can post it or you don't have to post it it's up to you we got the virtual and here's some goal setting stuff so post three things you're going to do tomorrow to push you closer to your goal so tomorrow it could be tomorrow i'm going to go to bed at 9 p.m versus 10 p.m tomorrow i'm going to watch one less episode of sons of anarchy no, another goal could be i'm not going to eat the nibs right so you would just put those three things down then we go amram right so we got amram push-ups we got amram squats and then what we've done is we've created a video here so this is part of the ice cream challenge where we're going to show you how to basically go and download my fitness pal you just you just say if you did it or not then there's a link here where it says post one fitness or nutrition myth so now we're trying to open up your mind so that you can get over some of these like myths that exist out in the world. Anything you would add in here, day three, you go. No, you know what, I like, uh, it sounds pretty good. I mean, honestly, I just wanna see them do it. Yeah. Cause that's the, like, this is so well laid, like the, the foundation of what you want to see in a client is is that what you're doing here. I, yeah. I, I like the nutrition business. I mean, you know what, I, like try, like set up, do something like um one new food that you didn't do the previous three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Challenge, challenge, challenge your, your whole, um, your whole like food vocabulary. Yeah. Well, like make a, gro make a grocery list. Right? Yeah. Make a grocery list. What, what did you, what did you eat this time that you didn't last time? That kind of thing. Okay. So this is week one, just quickly look through it, Hugo. And then maybe we can, maybe what you can do is add to week two. So we got Amram crunches, set your goals, post a nutrition hack, uh, read the labels, cut out the saturated fats. What do you, what do you think about that one? You think yeah, saturated fats too. I mean, it's not as demonized the saturated fat necessarily, but it's a it's what I what I love about it. The idea is still, I'm gonna take the the bad is like I don't think saturated fats are as bad. Okay. But what I like about it is I'm at, what we're actually do is look at it and see if you can replace it with something you like and it also fits within your calories and macros. Okay. That's what so would you change this one then? Maybe something a little bit simpler. Like what would be more of more important? This this one for me was more about heart health. Yeah, if that's the case, and like if you are high, if you're someone who needs to worry about it, then that is something that's that's the first thing you look at, right? Okay. Um, it depends on the client you have. I mean, it, the, from what I see from the clients, I don't know how many of them have heart health issues, but if you do, then it's a good thing to do. And if you don't, I'm always gonna, I, I always see the good in that situation. Because if you don't, it still forces you to look, take a look at that saturated fat. Yeah. Take, take a look at what you've been, if you've been eating that before a lot. Yeah. And see if you can replace it. Okay. So I, I wouldn't change it just because I like the challenge of having to replace something. Okay. All right. Let's, let's just leave it on then. So the saturated fat probably should be better. But I have in here on this day that you get to eat your treat of choice. But then I also put how you're going to enter that into your tracker so this is a challenge right so they got to eat if they want to eat hagen dazs they eat hagen dazs but then they track the rest of their food in here yeah so now Definitely. we went from getting my fitness pal to setting yourself up to utilizing it right yeah and then i just got a recovery recovery program so a five minute one that i did consume 30 to 40 grams of fiber i know women need less but i think 30 to 40 grams is that fair amount and people, no, even even thirty grams is like still the sweet spot for women. Okay, perfect. And then I put post what you plan to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for tomorrow. So that's a Sunday. And then tracking what you eat in my fitness pal. Post a screenshot. Outdoor workout. We got two minute AMRAP. So ten jumping jacks. So that so one full circuit 
So 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 push-ups is one circuit. You see how many rounds you get. And then post picture meal prep. And then here we're tracking again. So that's week one. I, I have a I have a challenge of if you could add it in one of these days. Okay. Um eat eight hundred grams of fruit or vegetable. Eight hundred grams, so they'd have to get into my fitness pal, right? Yeah, they'd have to go for sure. Okay. So I track your hydration. We can do it here. So eat eight hundred grams of fruit or boom. Now like, this still, this still, this yeah, perfect. And this will still have to fit within the whole calorie goal, and yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So then, shut off all electronics. Thirty three minutes for bed. Stop eating three hours before bed. Amramp two, electronics. Try the uh, bulletproof coffee, and then, and then the end is just kind of like the wrap up, right? So like yeah. week one, and day one to to week two, day seven. Yeah, and this is shared, right? So other people can post like their recipes and their things too. Yep. Yeah. All right, so let's go to questions. Let's go to questions. Here we go. Chat. Chat. Let me unshare my screen here. All right, so we will go in control of our plan. Good. Who's a stranger talking with RJ? So they're wondering about your beard, Hugo. Yeah. I lost a bet. I think everybody wants to know uh, what did you find in your beard? <laughs> no, I didn't find anything. I, you know, there was, there, was like, there was like a crumb of a food that like, I felt like I didn't eat in a couple of weeks. I thought it was weird that was there. Did you, um, were you like Chuck Norris? You found another fist in there? <laughs> no, you know, I, I found some gray hairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so, okay. So for anybody that wants to know about this, the 14 day, again, it's going to be a $25 deposit. You've got, it's got to be cash. Bring it on your next workout in an envelope with your name labeled and what it's for. And then just give it, just leave it at the front desk and then big mama or Jen will scoop it up. And then uh, any of the money. So if you don't do three of the challenges, like if you don't complete all of them for the next 14 days, I just take that money and I'm just going to go and give it to somebody. It's going to be a donation. I'm not taking any of that money in. It's it's going away. I want to see the success of you, your of the clients. But I need some type of buy-in from you. It's going to be your own money that you're going to be utilizing. But I'm not taking any of that money myself. And so we'll create a private group. We'll we'll get a private group if you want in. Just uh, direct message me if you want in. I'm going to create a private group, and then I'll send all the resources in there. It doesn't start until not next week, but the week after that. So July 6 is the proposed start date, but we'll, we'll, we'll answer all the questions that we have up until that date. And then this way we can get it up and rolling for Monday. Yeah. So I, was, I mean, there, I'm sure there'll be tons of questions once they yeah. get into day one of week one. Just direct message me on Facebook and, and then we will, um, and then I'm going to create a private group and then I'll put the link in there. I'll also share the link with you so that you can edit it. And then after that, it's just, it's just plug and play. And then any questions that come in, I'll be in, I'll be in the chat. Hugo will be in the chat. And then we'll just, we'll just like go from there. 